during the death throes of the Nazi war machine? We do not know. Many, however, we know from the dates on their tombstones were only Bitburg Cemetery. We commemorated the potential good and humanity that was consumed back then, 40 years ago. We celebrate today the reconciliation between our two nations that has liberated us from that cycle of destruction. Look at what together we've accomplished. As the mayor of Wittenberg has said, in that time there have been some 6,000 marriages between Germans and Americans, and many thousands of children have come from these unions. This is the real symbol of our future together, a future to be filled with hope, friendship, and freedom. The hope that we see now could sometimes even be glimpsed in the darkest days of the war. I'm thinking of one special story, that of a mother and her young son living alone in a modest cottage in the middle of the woods. And one night as the Battle of the Bulge exploded not far away and around them, three young American soldiers arrived at their door. They were standing there in the snow, lost behind enemy lines. All were frostbitten, one was badly wounded. Even though sheltering the enemy was punishable by death, she took them in, made them a supper with some of her last food. And then they heard another knock at the door, and this time four German soldiers stood there. The woman was afraid, but she quickly said with a firm voice, there will be no shooting here. She made all the soldiers lay down their weapons, and they all joined in the makeshift meal. Hans and Willie, it turned out, were only 16. The corporal was the oldest I'm overlapping the change up here. Their natural suspicion dissolved in the warmth and the comfort of the cottage. One of the Germans, a former medical student, tended the wounded American. But now listen to the rest of the story through the eyes of one who was there. Now a grown man, but that young lad that had been her son. He said the mother said grace i noticed that there were tears in her eyes. 341 she said the old familiar words come Herr jesus be our guest and as i looked around the table i saw tears too in the eyes of the battle weary soldiers boys again some from america some from germany all far from home that night as the storm of war tossed the world they had their own private armistice. The next morning, the German corporal showed the Americans how to get back behind their own lines. And they all shook hands and went their separate ways. That happened to be Christmas Day 40 years ago. Those boys reconciled briefly in the midst of war. Surely we allies in peacetime should honor the reconciliation of the last 40 years. To the people of Bitburg, our hosts and the hosts of our servicemen, like that generous woman 40 years ago, you make us feel very welcome. Wiel and Dank. And to the men and women of Bitburg Air Base, I just want to say that we know that even with such wonderful hosts, your job is not an easy one. You serve around the clock, far from home, always ready to defend freedom. We're grateful, and we're very country that in every country live in the sunshine of liberty. Our victory was great, and the Federal Republic, Italy, and Japan are now in the community of free nations. Paul, and proclaim that he too was a Berliner. For today, freedom-loving people around the world must say, I am a Jew in a world still threatened by anti-Semitism. I am an Afghan, and I am a prisoner of the Gulag. I am a refugee in a crowded boat foundering off the coast of Vietnam. I am a Laotian, a Cambodian, a Cuban. Liberty to protect life and to honor and cherish all God's children. 
That is why the free, democratic, federal republic of Germany times and wars of yesterday and are called back the millions back to life. But on this 40th anniversary of World War II, we mark the day when the hate, the evil, and the obscenities ended. And we commemorate the rekindling of an American band playing the German national anthem. While much of the world still huddles in the darkness of oppression, we can see a new dawn of freedom sweeping the globe. And we can see in the new democracies of Latin America, in the new economic freedoms and prosperity in Asia, in the slow movement toward peace in the Middle East, and in the strengthening alliance of democratic nations, let us live in peace. Thank you, and God bless you all.